Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom ACL workshop. And in today's workshop, I'm going to be covering this function called uh, fuzzy dupe, uh, which is a really useful function, especially if you want to see if there's any spelling mistakes, uh, approximate duplicates group together, different categories that should be the same because of minor misspellings or typos or, or whatnot. And it's also a good uh, data quality check as well. So here, I'm again, using the City of Toronto P-Card transaction data, and I'm first, my objective here is to understand, are there merchants here that are, should be the same, right? Based off of, uh, based off because of different spellings or different rhyme or reasons. Maybe we can see if we can find, find a few here if we sort it in alphabetic order. So here, for example, should these be the same? And one way to find that out is to use this function called uh, fuzzy fuzzy dupe, or short for fuzzy duplicates. So fuzzy, the concept of fuzzy duplicates is that yes, it's very easy to find exact duplicates if everything's spelled the same, everything's in the exact same order, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's more challenging to find ones that are approximately the same. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a merchant merchant summary just so we can take a look at them because obviously if we do uh, fuzzy duplicates it's gonna look pretty similar uh, we're gonna take a look here and you're gonna see a whole bunch of different situations and and data points and, and whatnot so what we want to do here is now run fuzzy duplicates on this summarized listing so the best way to do it is obviously if you remember the function you can go over it but if it's the first time using it, opening up the the prompt is is okay as well. So here, there's a couple of things that you need to consider. One is what's the field name that you're going to run your fuzzy duplicates on. In this case, I'm going to use on merchant name because that's the only field I have besides count, the only character field I have. It's going to ask you a whole bunch of different parameters here. So it's going to ask you difference threshold. So this is calculating what I call not what I call what's what is called the lev distance and I'll include a link to this Wikipedia article that basically shows you how it is collected who invented it but essentially what it's doing here and this is an excellent example it's gonna compare kitten to sitting oh no so kitten to sitting and it's gonna calculate the lev distance which is basically what how many edits does kit do you need to make the kitten to get to sitting so first thing you're going to do is replace the K with the S, right? So now you have sitting. And then you're going to replace the E with the I, that's two. And then you're going to add a G, so that's three. So the left distance between kitten and sitting is three. So here we have threshold at one. So if I change this to, for example, two, that means that, that kitten and sitting wouldn't be matched. But, for example... Uh, kitten and sitten without the without the G would be calculated here and then we have some op optional thresholds which I would recommend to use uh, is difference percentage so what this does is calculates the distance divided by the character string so when I say two here so for example if uh, if something has to be at least uh, no, it can be no more than that dis difference. So, for example, if I had it at one, so if the it wouldn't accept any character, any uh, duplicates that were less than ten characters, because what would happen is if it was nine, it would be one over nine, which would exceed the ten percent threshold, or exceed the ten percent threshold if this was ten percent. When it's fifty percent, it would it would uh, accept, for example one of five but it wouldn't it, it's not really it doesn't really work out when i do one but if i did two and i had a character of three characters or even two characters uh it wouldn't accept it so this is a very useful threshold especially to avoid like for example me we those type of really short strings that tend to have 
uh, minor character changes, but don't really mean that much. So I'm going to set this at 10%. And I'm going to set the lev distance at 2. So that means it won't capture any strings less than less than 5 characters. Because 2 divided by 10 is, and then shortened down is 1, one to 5. And then here are the results is for instance. So this was really just used to control uh, the size of your output and to avoid like runtime errors or memory overload, all that stuff. So if we change this to 100%, and we may need to increase it. You can also uncheck it, but sometimes it takes a really long time. And then if you had other fields here, in case if I had like a vendor master, this would be a really useful way to provide the other details so you can check whether or not there actually are duplicates. So I'm going to call this, but for now I'm just going to call this merchant uh, fuzzy duplicates. So it takes a little bit of time because obviously the analysis is quite complicated and there's quite a bit to it. Okay, so let's take a look here. Okay, so it shows you the original record number, shows you the group numbers, which corresponds here. This is just a, a useful s summary as well to, to start classifying and grouping and dividing them or adding back to your listing. So you'll see, for example, the difference between this one, the original record, and this one is that 6-6 six, six is replaced with, or 0-1 is replaced with 6-6. Six, six. And then here, the left distance between this one and this one is 3 is replaced by 5 and 0 is replaced by 9. And you may say, like, hey, these ones are not really that great. So let's skip those ones for now. And maybe you can run some parameters to filter out those type of results as well. If you look here, audio 2001 audio video and 2001 audio dash video this is a really good example of where there's a potential duplicate and that you can perhaps group these ones together the same thing here uh, between stereo video and so you'll see here they add an e which is a good chance of a spelling mistake on the city of toronto's part and, in, and as well you can take a look here airport taxi limousines it's really useful obviously the ones with numbers and where they show ticket numbers is not going to be that useful and you can then build out filters and parameters but this test is not perfect and this test in and of itself i wouldn't say if you were to do this just run fuzzy duplicates and present this to your stakeholders or start cleaning up your vendor master or start criticizing people's uh, inputs i think that would be unfair you actually have to go and uh, build out further intelligence to that and handle these exception cases where it really doesn't make sense so like here yes air canada tickets can be off by one digit doesn't mean necessarily that they're the same thing um and then for example you may for example want to group these still even though they're different store numbers to say like how much have we bought from best buy canada or blacks for example and you take a look here and there's some pretty interesting results that would be pretty hard to catch um with the with the naked eye so anyways, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I'll try to post this code somewhere, probably post it on, on GitHub or on Google Drive as uh, one of my uh, viewers has suggested. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.